Alright, welcome back everyone uh, to Let's Play Marble Drop. So, I'm on, we're on level 6, which features holding tubes, which are pretty simple. Uh, when a marble goes in, it's held there, and they're not released until all three are filled up. In this case, this one has just two uh, spots, and this one has three. So, uh, <clears throat> this level also features uh, something that we'll see a lot more of later, where a marble is uh, present on the level when the level begins. And if you can save that marble, you'll uh, effectively gain that marble. Of course, in this case, it just gets destroyed, and there's, uh, there's no way to avoid that. So, let's see, this is going to go here, here, and into here again. Still pretty simple. It's just a nice introduction of how the holding tubes work, but it's not very simple. I don't know if I remember if I explained this in the last first episode. There's nothing to it, really. It just is a little device that functions to... Uh, give you points more than anything, really. I think I can do two at a time here. Yes, and then this will go back to here. I'll try to, um, right now things are pretty simple. I'll try to uh, articulate my uh, thought process a little better when we start getting to harder stuff, where I'll eventually have to uh, think a lot harder, remembering what path the marbles are going to take and everything. This will be blue, this will go down here, so yeah. These spinners are present on a lot of these early levels, but uh, not so much on the later levels. I don't know why that is. Maybe because uh, <clears throat> the late levels of this game feature a lot other, a lot of other components that are more, uh, uh, how do you say, or well, other components that give you more points. And I think we have to sacrifice a marble here. Uh, yeah, for this last, uh, this is gonna, the yellow, yellow is gonna go into here, and then we need the third one to, just to release him. But the third one's going to get destroyed in the saw, because the blue and the yellow will fill up the bin. So, I used a silver marble there, and now we just have the last blue one on this side. There he goes. I was surprised to find out that um, I didn't remember this game only had 50 levels. It seemed like a lot more when I when I was younger. Probably just because it took me a lot longer to play the game. And here we go. Another simple level. And we didn't lose any mar- no, we didn't. I lost one silver marble. I didn't lose any colored marbles. Alrighty. I'm not paying much attention to my score. The Leonardo there is, uh, that's your default name when you start this level. Okay, this level features, what are these called? Blockers. These are called blockers. Okay. Now this one gets a little bit, it's a little bit more complicated than it looks. It looks pretty simple. But, <clears throat> the blockers add an interesting uh, element to the gameplay and I think okay um, I'm just gonna have to play this because I can't remember how this is gonna go quite exactly 
So, yeah, blockers, they just stay there and they'll hold everything in place until this button is pushed and then they're released and then it'll let everything go and they stay uh, they, they stay in their state until the button is pushed and then they just alternate back and forth in that uh, pattern this is a level I think <clears throat> where you can easily uh, get too many marbles on the screen I think since you can have a lot of marbles staying in place Trying to read the, the words on the background, it's really difficult. The object is to get correctly colored in here, we already know that. Alright, um, I'm gonna do this. Right, so far this is not being much of a problem. This... This is an odd configuration here. I don't know what the purpose of that blocker is really. Because it really only... I mean... Everything that comes down before here... Will get... Will open it up, so I don't... Yeah, I don't know. Alright, this is gonna be... This isn't gonna be too bad, I don't think. I've just got this... Oh, shoot. I think I'll, I'll end up having to uh, use a silver marble or two to finish this off because I need to open up some of these blockers. Yeah. So, uh, I need to... I'm going to have to send one down here to press this button. I also... But this is blocked. This is blocked, so I need to send one this way as well. I think. Let's see if it works. <coughs> yep. Uh oh. Okay. There you. You just got to see how. Luckily, if a marble is going over a blocker as it's triggered, it doesn't. It waits until the all marbles are passed to go up again, which is really nice. That really comes in handy. All right, we're on a level eight. In this level, this is an interesting one. It features um, nothing too new except that uh, you can have multiple buttons connected to one uh, object. You can also have, though not seen here, you can also have uh, one button connected to multiple objects. This one's going to go down to red. Do I want to? Uh, yes. I want to do that. Putting a marvel down, <clears throat> either of these will lead to this uh, shoe, which uh, leads to death because the uh, marble, if a marble falls off the level like this, it's just lost. And this one will be blue, and this one will be green. I probably should have, yeah, I should, oh no, never mind. Okay. This one, yeah, this level isn't too hard. If you just follow a simple, uh, a simple pattern of going from this one to this one, like this, it's pretty, uh, pretty simple. And you should remember this level, actually, because, uh, well, I'll just say that, um, we'll be sort of, in a way, we'll be seeing it again. That's funny. Alright, that was... We didn't lose any marbles. Nice. Makes you think you need to sacrifice a marble here to press this button here, but you don't. Components. Okay, so your score is based on... Or no, it just has... It just lists 
the number of components used. Right, level 9, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. I don't know who that is, I never heard that name before. So yeah, level 9 is uh, some title. So here we have bumpers again. I see these actually, uh, their proper name is Target, but I like calling them bumpers because it makes more sense to me. These, as you can see, can be switched back to their original positions with a button press. So, uh, they can be used more than once, unlike the other ones we've seen in the back in my uh, last episode video thing. And this one is still pretty simple. This this isn't too difficult of a level. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, this one here, for some reason, doesn't have a button on this side. This doesn't really do anything but change, but make it take longer because it has to go down here. I suppose you get you can get an optimum score in the level by using these spinners to the most of your ability. It's basically though, if you take it slow like this, you just I don't know if I realized this before, but marbles in this funnel go on this bin, and from this funnel go to this bin. There's a good piece of advice down here though. It says marbles can take some time to rest, to come to rest. Patience and perceptiveness are often rewarded with unforeseen opportunity. That'll that's good advice for the harder portions of this game, definitely. This is also the first level in a series of levels where the basic uh, layout of the level is sort of repeated uh, multiple times. In this case, I know there's going to be at least one other level, maybe two or three other levels with this same basic structure. In it, and just with a you know with a lot of bumpers and lifts on either side. There's a couple like that that will come across eventually. <clears throat> Resetting target is the is what they call these. Right here it says, and another level down. Thank you. 